The Space Coast's newest rocket could finally launch this weekend. New Glenn from Blue Origin was first unveiled to us a decade ago out at the Cape. At 320 feet, it is just about as tall as NASA's Space Launch System. New 6's James Barbero has been part of our team coverage leading up to this launch, and James is back with some good questions about the new rocket's role in the booming commercial space industry. Like my colleague Eric Von Aiken, Bill Harwood with CBS News was out there at the present site of the launch pad when Jeff Bezos pulled the curtain back, Bill, and he showed us what New Glenn would look like. It's been 10 years, and my question really now is, with SpaceX being the biggest name in the game in commercial space flight, just how much of a competitor do you think Blue Origin can become with New Glenn? Well, it's too soon to say that, but they have pumped billions into this program. And they're certainly optimistic. You know, they've got a lot of payloads lined up. If this is a good test flight and they can ramp it up, I think they will provide some competition, but it's going to take some time. Like Falcon 9's, New Glenn is built to be reusable, too. It's a pretty bold objective to try and land a booster on the first launch attempt. You know, it really is. But the one thing I think Blue Origin has going for them, they launched the suborbital New Shepard rocket, you know, on those space tourist flights that just go up and down. But they recover that rocket every time with a rocket-powered landing. So they know how to do this. The difference is the new Glenn booster is gigantic compared to that. It's much bigger than even the Falcon 9 booster that comes back. So yeah, I think it'll be a challenge, but they have experience with this. Proof's in the pudding. I'm at the Washington Street Beach Access now. This is where I plan to watch the first new Glenn launch. Overnight Sunday, one in the morning. It's a three hour launch window. It was delayed 48 hours because Blue Origin said of high seas where they're going to land the booster. They also say landing the booster would be a bonus to their main objective of reaching orbit. This would be the company's first orbital launch since Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin 25 years ago now. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.